Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So Magpie recently launched um, some new shapes and a new dust. These are already um, available on the website but rather than just doing um, separate videos for both of them, for just one, um, I thought I'd just combine the video um, and show you some swatches and a demo on how to use um, both of the products. So we've got the butterfly shapes and then we've got Bridey, which is the new white chrome. So I'm just gonna get straight into the video and start off by doing a demo and then I will do, um, I will show you the rest of the swatches um, and then I'll move on to the second one, show you the demo and show you the swatches. So let's get into it. So I'm going to start off with the butterfly shapes. So they are, I would say, a little bit similar to um, the diamonds. Like you can see, colour-wise, they're slightly the same. They, I don't think they're iridescent. I wouldn't say they're iridescent. Um, you can see them on sort of any colour type of thing. I'm going to do the demo on white, but I have done the other swatches, obviously, on different colours for you. So I'm going to use Magpie Plain Jane and I'm just going to do one coat of colour. Obviously if you're doing this on a natural nail um, I would obviously suggest doing two but just for the purpose of the video I'm just going to do one um, with sort of good coverage. And then I'm going to cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds. So along with the butterfly shapes, I'm going to use the Magpie Hexagon shapes in Flossy. Um, and you'll see why in a minute, but I am going to use these as well today. So the once that's been fully cured, I'm going to get Magpie Give Me Strength. And I'm just going to do a nice even layer over the nail. I wouldn't particularly say it was too thick it was it's just a nice even layer obviously capping the free edge then i'm going to get the magpie dotting tool and i'm going to use the smaller end obviously get my butterfly shapes just going to dip the small end onto the nail just to pick up some of that give me strength and i'm literally just going to randomly sort of place the um butterflies on. I'm not sort of covering the whole nail in these. I only want a few like that. And then I'm going to get my flossy hexagon shapes and basically I just want to pick out the um, smaller hexagon shapes. To just kind of create a bit of a um, sort of gap filler I suppose as if it's sort of like a little butterfly trail obviously you could use you know an actual glitter for this or a chunky glitter so I just want to add more top like that so then I'm just gonna pop that in my lamp for 60 seconds so then once that's been cured I'm gonna get my give me strength again and I'm gonna do a really nice generous layer over the whole nail now obviously I am using a lot of product here but that's because this is a very large nail obviously you need to use the amount um, that you think is sufficient for your clients nail so and look down the side and just make sure that you can't see anything sticking up look down the barrel, obviously capping the free edge. So if someone's got, you know, a lot shorter nails, which they probably have, you wouldn't use that amount sort of all in one go. But obviously because this nail is very large, I can do. So but as you can see, if I turn it sort of that way and that way, there's no bits sticking up. So I'm gonna cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds. Okay, so once that's been fully cured, I'm just gonna get the Shine Bright Top Coat, which is a little thicker than Let It Shine. and. I'm just going to do a nice even layer over the top of the nail 
Obviously, if after that first coat of Give Me Strength, there are bits sticking up, you can always do a second. And then if you have done a second and then there's still bits sticking up, just use um, a 240 buffer just to buff over the top. You shouldn't really take off much of the shapes that way either if you've done two. Um, so, but obviously with mine, it's it's pretty good. Um, they do lie pretty flat because this is a large nail as well. Um, so I'm gonna cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds. So then obviously once that's been fully cured, I'm gonna get my um, lint free wipe and my magpie cleanser and just wipe over the whole nail to remove that inhibition layer. So, and there you have the butterfly shapes over white. So, and here are the rest of the swatches that I did. So, all done in exactly the same way, obviously using the same products. So, this swatch here is over Leap of Faith. Then we've got this swatch here that is over Pearl's a Singer. This swatch here was done over Genie in a Bottle. And then this swatch here was done over Dolly Daydream. So, and then obviously the final one was done over Plain Jane. So there you can just see that, you know, that it's not iridescent. You will see them over whatever color that you use. And it's just kind of a little butterfly trail, I suppose. Obviously if a client's got shorter nails, um, you'll have to think about the shapes and how big they are, etc. Um, but now I'm going to move on to the bridey demo and swatches for you. So again, I'm going to use Plain Jane for my demo and I'm just going to do the one layer again um, as I did with the last demo just to you know make sure that we're keeping this quite speedy. So, and I'm gonna cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds. So once that's been fully cured, I'm then gonna use Magpie Dope Tacky, which is their no wipe top coat. Now, again, this is quite a large nail, so I'm gonna to need to use um, quite a bit of product just on the nail. Um, so just make sure you're, you're using a nice sort of floaty amount. And obviously remember to let this settle um, before you cure it. Okay, so now I'm gonna cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds. So then once that's been fully cured, I'm gonna get Bridie, which is the chrome, and I'm gonna get the Magpie chrome tool with the Bridie head on it. And I'm just gonna dip straight into the powder. So I use quite a lot of this, um, just because again, it is a large nail, so and then just gonna rub it over the whole nail, making sure to cover everything. I probably use a little bit too much there because I've got quite a full, bit of fallout, but it's okay. So then I'm gonna get the Magpie silicone tool and the large end of the head and just buff that in. So this just makes sure that the chrome is sort of like all nice and smooth into that um, no wipe top coat, like that. So if these are natural nails, my suggestion for getting them to not um, wear away at the tips is to get a 240 buffer. So this is the Magpie one, one size of file, one size of buffer. Use the buffer side and just go very lightly just at the free edge just to make sure um, that it's a little bit rough. So and then I'm just using the Magpie Duster brush to brush any excess off. And then I'm gonna get Magpie Shine Bright Top Coat. Now we wanna do this quite nice and thinly um, on the nail. You don't want to use too much product because if you float your top coat, what actually happens is the dust can sometimes sort of rise and it will make the nail look glittery, not chrome. So just be careful when you're top coating. So, and then I'm gonna cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds. So, and then I'm just gonna do a second layer of top coat, and this is just a normal layer of top coat, so maybe not as thin as that first one, um, but not floaty or anything, just to make sure that all of that chrome has been encapsulated, and then I'm gonna cure that in my lamp. So then once that's been fully cured, I'm then gonna get my lint-free wipe and my gel cleanser and just wipe off 
that tacky layer. So then there you have Bridie over Plain Jane. So, and then here are the other swatches. So I used exactly the same colours as I did for the butterfly shape. So Leap of Faith, Pearls of Singer, Genie in a Bottle, Dolly Daydream and Plain Jane. So you can kind of see that actually it's quite iridescent, I would say. It doesn't change the colour um, too much. It just adds that kind of white sheen if that makes sense, but it'd be really good for spring and things. And obviously I know that brides love a bit of white chrome as well. So there you have a demo and swatches for both the butterfly shapes and for the uh, white chrome bridie. So I hope that you um, like this video guys and like the um, swatches and the demo. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.